some kids from here are actually oh, yeah. going down there, so they picked a bad time to do it. Let's check in with Dan and see what the weather's going to be like this weekend. A lot of things going on. A lot of things going on here locally, and we've got some rain coming. We've got some warmth. We've got some cool air, so a very active weekend weather-wise. And so we talk about all that tonight so you can make your weekend plans. And for tomorrow, we just expect isolated thunderstorms. So it's going to be hot once again, humid, isolated coverage of rain during the afternoon. More widespread rain is likely on Sunday. But after a high temperature today of 86, we'll be well into the 80s once again tomorrow. So that means the football games in the area, the college football games tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening will be very warm as well. We've got East Carolina in town at MTSU tomorrow at 2.30, 85 for kickoff. Partly cloudy, just about a 20 to 30 percent rain chance. Georgia at Tennessee in Knoxville, kickoff temperature 83. Southeast Missouri State at LP Field with TSU 81 degrees, 6 p.m. In Missouri at Vanderbilt, kickoff temperature at 630 will be 80 degrees right here in Nashville. All right, the rain that we had earlier today is gone. As we check out 41 Live Doppler and the 41 Advantage, we're in very good shape, and that continues for the rest of tonight. So, a couple of clouds tonight, perhaps some patchy fog through the overnight, but notice it's a very pretty night. So, if you have some evening plans, if you're going to dinner here shortly or perhaps a movie later, you shouldn't have any problems. Partly cloudy and 82 in Nashville, dew point 66. So, it continues to be stuffy outdoors. That will continue into tomorrow. That will start to change on Sunday, and really, you'll feel the difference in humidity by Monday. 78 now in Murfreesboro, just the same in Lewisburg. We've got mid 70s for the Eastern Highland Rim and Cumberland Plateau, and back to the west, still some upper 70s and lower most 80s. Okay, we take a look at what's developing in the plains. We've got severe thunderstorm watches, a big band of thunderstorms, still many hundreds of miles down I 40. So, again, the best rain chance arrives on Sunday. It's this system that we're waiting on. The cold side of the system actually shows a lot of snow farther north. Of course, we're not going to get snow here, but we'll get some cooler air several mornings next week. Most spots will dip into the 40s, lower 50s around Nashville. And here's a look at Karen, still in the Gulf of Mexico. It's sort of a halt at its movement a few hundred miles south of New Orleans in the last few hours. It hasn't moved farther north all that much. And still the forecast track is going to take it near the mouth of the Mississippi and then off toward Florida. Most of the activity with the storm is on the eastern flank of it. So therefore, Panama City, Destin, Pensacola, could get some very stormy conditions, mainly on Sunday. Future cast tomorrow in our area, partly cloudy to start with patchy fog. Just isolated storm coverage during the afternoon and evening. 65 or 66 in the morning, 82 at lunchtime, 88 for the high. We pick things up with future cast tomorrow night. And notice the rain really reaches the Tennessee River by 7 o'clock on Sunday morning. Showers developing around Nashville by midday Sunday. A wet time at the game at LP Field on Sunday. Kickoff at 12 noon. Kickoff temperature in the mid-70s. But I think it's going to become more and more wet throughout the game. Some heavy downpours and some of those will continue into Sunday night. 30% rain chance tomorrow. 80% rain chance Sunday. 88 tomorrow. 76 on Sunday. 72 on Monday. 74 Tuesday. A nice fall day. Back to 80 on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday or so of next week. And by the way, next Thursday is surviving a storm in Waverly at the Waverly Central High School. We'd love to have you join us. Dan, thanks.